So in this video, we're going to look at the load deformation response for uh, well-confined and poorly confined columns. And we're going to start with our poorly confined columns. Um, so first, when we start to apply load, we'll have an elastic response. Um, at some point uh, in our elastic response, our cover is going to start to fail. So this will cause us to start to go inelastic. And once our cover fails, we're in our poorly confined column, we're not going to have anything restraining our, our steel from buckling anymore. Um, so we're going to see that our steel will buckle. And when that happens, we're going to have a localized uh, failure. And there will be a softening response. Um, so this is for poorly confined. And we see a softening response. Or a, um, you can see we'll have a local failure. So this is where our, our uh, deformations will concentrate and, and we won't be able to pick up any more load. Um, so the alternative is a well-confined column. Um, so if we keep our spacing close enough, then we can be well-confined. Um, so for our well-confined column, we're also going to have uh, the same exact linear response. Um, at some point, we're going to start failing our cover. So our cover is going to start to fall off. Um, in our well-confined column, our, this failure won't be uh, localized, though. It's going to be more of a, a global behavior. Um, so our cover will start to fail. And then this is when our stirrups are going to kick in. So our stirrups are going to kick in, and they're going to provide confinement on our, our, on our core. So we're going to confine our core, and when that happens, we're going to see a hardening response. Uh, before we have some kind of uh, global failure. Um, so this would be for a well-confined um, column. And uh, once again, we see a hardening response. Um, or a uh, global failure. Uh, so when we're designing a column, we, of course, want to uh, make sure that we avoid localized failures and uh, have more of a global response. We can see it's uh, both more or both more ductile and uh, offers additional strength. 